In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install the MetaBase Business Intelligence tool on a Linux Ubuntu server in just about 10 minutes. So MetaBase is basically an easy to use open source business intelligence tool that lets you analyze your data from a variety of data destinations and sources. It also follows a simple and fast setup process and can basically be used for sharing live dashboards, automated reports and questions with the rest of your team. Its data visualization capabilities are exceptional and can be showcased in a user-friendly way without using SQL. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to show you how to download and install system and package updates. I'll also show you how to set a custom host name on the Ubuntu server. So type in the command IP address list and then grep inet. So this should then return a list of IPv4 addresses on the server. So I'm going to use the LAN address to connect to the server via SSH using my terminal application. So type in SSH your username at the LAN address for your server. So if you type in enter, type in yes, and then type in your server password. I've now successfully logged into the server via SSH. So just type in the command sudo su and then type in your root password. Okay. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is to run the command apt update. So this should then go through to download some essential system updates that you will actually need to be able to complete this uh, setup successfully. So once the update process is complete, I'm also then going to set a custom host name. So the update process should take about uh, a minute or so. It just depends on the performance of your internet connection. Um, and then I also recommend that once you set a custom uh, host name and also once you install your custom up updates, you then need to also restart the server so that the changes will actually take effect. So I'm then going to open up a new terminal window and then uh, run the command sudo su. So this is actually on my MacBook that I'm actually doing these commands and then type in the command nano etc hosts. So in this host configuration file, I'm going to remove the jellyfin.local entry and I'll replace that with the metabase server.local entry. So I'll just update the IP address there to 56.35 and then type in metabase server.local. So press Ctrl O, press Enter and then press Ctrl X to exit out of the file. So the next thing that I'm going to do is to install Docker, Docker Compose, and also to deploy the MetaBase container. So um, type in the command uh, apt install docker. This command will actually install the Docker container management system. So once the installation is complete, clear your screen and then run the command um, apt install docker compose. So when the Docker Compose installation is complete, I'll then create a directory for the MetaBase application and I will create a docker-compose.yaml file with instructions on how to deploy the MetaBase uh, container. Copy and paste that command to create a MetaBase directory and then change your working directory to the directory that you've actually just created. And then I'm then going to create a docker compose.yaml file that actually contains instructions on how to deploy the MetaBase container. So press Ctrl O, press Enter, and then press Ctrl X to exit out of the file. So I'm just going to run the command docker compose up and specify the D parameter to instruct docker compose that we're actually going to be deploying our MetaBase as a demonized uh, instance. So I'm just going to test the MetaBase application just to see if it's uh, working properly. And as you can see, I got an HTTP 200 OK response. So that means that the container is actually now up and running. So the next thing that I'm going to do is to install the Open Lightspeed web server. And I'll actually configure it to work as a reverse proxy server for the MetaBase uh, application. So, um, just type in the command apt install uh, open lightspeed so that should then go through to then download the open lightspeed uh, web server so once the server installation is complete 
you then need to then start the service so just type in the command systemctl start lsws and then type in the command dot forward slash user local forward slash lsws forward slash admin forward slash mix and then type in the command adm sh so type in your username in my case i'm just going to say that to admin and then type in a secure password So once you've set a password for Open Lightspeed, you then need to create a virtual host folder within the Open Lightspeed server root. So I'm just going to name that folder Metabase as well. Okay, so we're now going to log into the Open Lightspeed admin dashboard. So type in your server URL, the actually the domain name that we set earlier, and then specify the 7080 port number. So I'm going to type in the username and password that I set and then click on login. Okay, so click on virtual hosts and then click on add. So I'm just going to set the virtual host name to Metabase and then I am then going to choose the server root environment variable and then I'm going to specify the Metabase folder that we actually created. So the config file uh, location, I'll just choose the default recommended path. And then I'll just paste that in and then change the VH name to Metabase. Okay, so select the uh, select yes and then select no on the restrained uh, parameter and then click on save. So click on where it says uh, click to create and then click on save once again. So we've successfully created the Metabase uh, virtual host. So click on general and then we're going to set a document root. So I'm just going to set that to the VH root uh, environment variable and then click save. So click on the uh, external app uh, tab and then click on add. So I'm just going to set the type to web server and then click on next. So the name, I'm just going to set that to Metabase and the address, that's going to be HTTP 127.0.0.1 and then specify the 3000 port number. I'm just going to set the max connections to 100 and then the initial request timeout to 60 seconds as well as the retry timeout seconds to 60 seconds as well. So click save and then click on the context uh, tab. So click add and then we're then going to set the type to proxy and then click next. So the URI, that's just going to be a forward slash and then select the Metabase um, web server that we configured as an external app and then click save. So I'm now going to configure the listener. So I'm just going to change the port number on the listener to listen on port 80 and then click save. On the virtual host mapping section, click add and then select the Metabase uh, virtual host. So the domain that's going to be Metabase server.local and then click on save. Okay, so we should be good to go. So I'm just going to restart the Lightspeed service for the changes to take effect. So open up a new browser window and type in your custom uh, uh, host name. So that's going to be metabase server.local. So if you press enter, I should now see the metabase uh, welcome page. Click on let's get started and select your language. Click next and then you need to type in your details here. So I'm just going to type in my name and my last name as well as the email address that I usually use for installations like this. And then company or team name, I'm just going to set that to me. And then you then need to set a custom password. So you need to make sure you type in a secure password here. And then once you've actually done that, you just need to click on next. So click on I'll add my data later and click on finish. Okay, so click uh, take me to Metabase. And this is actually the Metabase uh, default dashboard. So from here, you can now connect your database and start using Metabase for business intelligence uh, purposes. So that's been it, guys. That's a quick look at how you can install Metabase on Linux Ubuntu 22.04 using Docker. 
I hope this tutorial has been informative and I'd like to thank you for viewing.